Okay, welcome back. Okay, ready? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Maddie's being crazy per usual. <laughs> Today we're gonna share 10 facts about each of us. So hopefully you'll get to know us better. And we're all so different, but yet so similar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you guys are new, if this is your first video, we are sisters. I'm Shelby. I'm Kenzie. I'm Madison. We get kind of crazy when we're together. So bear with us. But today we are going to be sharing 10 facts about us to help you guys get to know us a little bit more. I already said that. <laughs> Shelby already said that. Okay, well, the number one thing on mine is I love Mexican food. Mm. Top favorites, La mm. Frontera, must have. If you haven't had it, their smothered burrito is to die for. Yeah. Second, guilty pleasure, the no joke, probably have five out of seven days of the week, <laughs> Taco Bell, dollar menu, cheesy bean and rice burrito. Get yeah. it, Mad. Only way to go. Get it, Mad. Only way to go. Every Shelby. time, every time she comes to my house, she texts me, "Talk about question mark." And she always says, "Yes, give me what you get." So it's good. It's fine. We we, we do love Taco Bell. We do. We always have. <laughs> so that's my first one. Okay, Sweet. Okay, my first fact is that I love lettering and doing calligraphy. It's just always kind of been something that I did. I love writing, and um, a bunch of people have actually had me make signs for weddings and stuff. And it's just. A fun hobby for me. She's really good at it. We're actually jealous that we can't do it. She's no. amazing. She made my wedding invitations, all the signs at my wedding. She's it's fun. Really good at it. <laughs> it's fun. It's like therapeutic, you know, and relaxing. Okay, my first one is I was named after a sports car by my dad, Shelby Mustang. Heck yeah. Yeah, she was. So I feel like one day I have to have that car. It's an excuse. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Death. Yeah. Love it. Okay, Mads. Okay, second one, kind of going along with the food, <laughs> is Dr. Pepper. So many people are like, oh, it's so easy to get off soda. No, I am choosing to not get off soda. So I have <laughs> a, at least one, sometimes three or four Dr. Peppers a day. She loves her Dr. Pepper. I love it. I don't see a problem with it. <laughs> That's my second one. You guys, and I just have to tell you, my favorite thing about Maddie is she... <laughs> is and always has been a thousand percent herself. She doesn't care what anyone thinks. That's just her and that I've always been jealous of it. She's good at that. That's true. My second fact is it's kind of gross actually. I almost had my finger ripped mm -hmm. off like legitimately. If you could see my scar it's kind of gross. We were lifting a trailer like a flat bed trailer full of topsoil like a mountain of topsoil off of a truck hitch and setting it on a rock. Just us right and dad. Yeah. I wasn't there. I got it was us and seven. Matt. Yeah. yeah. And we finally got it and my hand was like right under the very front. And we got it off the <laughs> truck and we turned, like pivoted to put it on a granite rock mm -hmm. and everyone dropped and it She didn't move her hands. Slid my hand. It like smashed my hand and then ripped it down the side of the granite rock. And I had a ring on that finger, so it literally almost ripped my finger off. It was gross. And I almost passed out. Yeah. It was gross. <laughs> Did not like getting those pictures. <laughs> okay, second thing about me. I'm double jointed. My elbows especially, my elbows pop in a really creepy way. I don't think you can see it, but like... They like go upside down. Yeah. Like see how mine is straight? Yeah, mine doesn't do what like, goes up. I can't put my sleeve up, it's like way tight. But, yeah, I'm double jointed. My next one is, I personally believe, but it is socially acceptable <laughs> to wear socks with sandals. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah. If you follow me on Instagram, you know my husband and I got in an argument over this. It's not okay. I think it's fine. Once again, like they said. Let, let us know in the comments if you think it's acceptable Listen, or not. Be yourself. Don't Maddie, give a crap what anyone thinks of you. Maddie's top priority is comfort. Well, that's okay. Why be uncomfortable when you can be comfortable? Why have a salad when you can have a hamburger? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love you. Okay, my third fact is that I am obsessed with true crime. Like, almost to an unhealthy level. I rate it in. Last night, I was- No, you don't. I do, I do, because last night I was home alone while my husband was at a soccer game late. My kids were sleeping, and I was mopping, and I was listening to a creepy one, and I started hearing things, so I had to turn it off. So I rate it in if I get scared, but I'm obsessed with true crime, guys. Specifically podcasts. Love them. Yeah. yeah, starting yeah. to get on your obsession level. With them. I haven't started. Love it's it. so interesting. They are just, so interesting. Yeah. My third one is my dream life would be to travel the world with my husband and little boy. Mm -hmm. We love traveling, and our dream vacation is to go to an elephant sanctuary in Thailand. So, so, so jealous. Bucket list. 
place. They already yeah. don't let her fool you. It's I know. their dream. They already do it. <laughs> yeah. And it's so cool. But we've never been to Thailand. No. But, but you, you will. go to super cool places. Like, we will. That will we be will one that they achieve. I think that'll sure. be probably one of our next trips. Yeah. So, so fun. So cool. That is so cool. Um, Kay. Well, when I, I have a dream house in my head, <laughs> one day. I think we all do. My husband will build it for me, maybe. <laughs> and my number one thing on my dream house is a wraparound porch. Oh, heck and not that. just halfway, I mean, I want the full 360, 360 <laughs> wraparound porch. That's my number one requirement. That's awesome. For when I imagine home. that, I imagine like all our kids chasing each other. Yeah. Our house. Or like little tricycles. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> I love it. So that's my number one thing on my dream mom one day. That's awesome. So my next fact is my celebrity crush and the person that I've been obsessed with as long as I can remember, mm -hmm. I don't know how long, <laughs> is Forever. Kenny Chesney. Holy Hannah, you guys, I love Kenny Chesney. <laughs> yes, I know he is quite a bit older than me, but he's yes. just so dang attractive and his music. And I remember I was in like seventh grade and I went to his concert and he came down on like a zip line and the second I saw him I started bawling. <laughs> you were not in seventh grade. You were like sixteen. <laughs> I was not. Yes, you started crying and no, you were like I wasn't. sixteen. <laughs> she was. Either way, I would probably cry now if I saw him. <laughs> Love you, Kenny. Okay, my fourth one, it's kind of embarrassing and I don't want to share it, but Get they're it. making me. Get it. When I was in high school, I held the pull-up record for girls, and I think for guys, too. <laughs> I... Yeah, she's strong. Girlfriend is. No, I'm Girlfriend not. got muscles. I've just done a lot of pull-ups <laughs> in my life. And that leads me to my next one. I'll go next to my next one. She's strong. Yeah. I was a gymnast for 12 years and a cheerleader for 4 years, so gymnasts do a lot of pull-ups. So mm -hmm. when we were doing the little PE pass-off thing, I did a lot of pull-ups. <laughs> you want to know how many pull-ups I can do? <laughs> For real. <laughs> no, she's super flipping strong. But we can all share that one then. I yeah. think that's one we of all, all of ours. Yeah, right? together. Sure. Me and Shelby cheered on a competitive cheerleading team. You did too when you were younger. Yeah, on the lower team. On the lower, yeah, but we were yeah. on like a collegiate level competitive cheerleading team, which was so fun for all three years of high school. And then we both actually ended up coaching that team as well after we graduated. And then I did that team with them until I got to high school. Then I actually cheered all three years in my high school, which I loved. Yeah, so huge cheer, part of our lives. Cheer and dance, yeah. we still, like, we have done cheer clinics for high schools together. We've mm -hmm. um, judged cheer tryouts. We just, it's a big part of our lives and we love it. And I cannot wait until Kinley and then India, India. Daughter, and you have a daughter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> come on, girl. <laughs> and we're all very peppy and loud. Yeah. And I think it's because of cheer. Uh -huh. We great. love it. Really? Yeah, great Kim sport. Is. If I could live anywhere permanently, I would live in New York City. I have already lived there for a small portion of my life and I loved it. It was such a fun time and everyone who knows me knows if I could go back and live there, I would without thinking twice we about it. We won't allow her to, but that's what she wants to live. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> love New York. Everything about it. Um, in high school and even before high school, um, I rode dirt bikes and then I drove a huge Chevy Silverado 2500 in high school, so I was kind of <laughs> rugged, rough and tough, wasn't she, I? Yeah, you were kind of yeah. like the tomboy. I was. Like, even though I was a cheerleader, I was like hunting, fishing, dirt biking, driving my big truck. I think she got it because our dad is so... Our dad is such boy. a dude. Our yeah, dad and our brothers. Yeah. And, and you were the first four yeah. and he just dragged you around. And I love head. it. I'm so grateful for that because I have four boys and I just feel like my whole life I was being prepped to be like the ultimate yeah. tough boy mom. So I like it. Yeah, me and Shelb did it really <laughs> all of it. But it's fine. <laughs> And so my next one's completely opposite. Kenzie still enjoys these things, but I'm very obsessed with anything. Hair, beauty, makeup, fashion related. I love it. And I think that was like our biggest opposites growing uh -huh. up. Is she was such a tomboy and I was such a girl. That yeah, I'm For obsessed sure. with anything beauty related. And I just fell in the middle somewhere. <laughs> yeah, you're I a feel, pretty good balance. Yeah. I feel like I'm starting to appreciate it more as I get older because I'm yeah. like, oh shoot, I need a little extra help to look. <laughs> No, no, but but she yeah, yeah she's awesome at all of it. Yeah, she's and really I feel like, like I've always like loved yeah, it. I think yeah. I had mascara and lipstick when I was like four. Yeah. <laughs> you love it, yeah. She all through high school had like one of those jewelry spinner things you see at icing or Claire's. Like she has it <laughs> full of jewelry. Yeah. My next one that you guys also want me to share. I don't know. 
I speak Mandarin Chinese. Yeah. How cool is that? <laughs> like she was like, no, I'm like, that is a super cool fact. Share mm -hmm. that. Well, a lot of people are like, are you fluent in it? And she I, is. I very much think I don't. You're not confident. You I don't, don't speak think it as much. you can ever truly be fluent in that language. I honestly don't. There's way too much to it. Um, obviously, I feel like at a point I was a lot better at it than I am now. If you were just dropped in China, you would be able to communicate and get around. Yes. If I was dropped in China, I could communicate. I yes. could get places. Yes. <laughs> She's being humble. Yes. She She's, is. She's being she very humble. She speak the language very well. But yeah, I love it. I love the culture. I love the people. I love, I love it all. The Mom. food. <laughs> Mom wants you to say something in I am not going to say something because I'm sure there's some of you out there watching and I don't know. It's intimidating to try it to speak so in a different language. It is Especially because she's everyone's like, it. speak it to us. And I'm like, why when you have no idea what I'm saying? I wish I could but speak another language. I do use it a little bit now. I teach English to Chinese kids in the morning in China and they hear me like we communicate a little bit in it and it's fun i love it she's a great teacher it's fun okay this was also a fact that i wasn't like stoked to share because i kind of feel like i'm being a bit braggy but my sisters insisted on it um out of my five births three of them have been natural that's but hardcore that i will crazy. i will say two of those natural births i didn't have a choice they were just too yeah. fast that it had to be that way but it was still natural but my last one it was kind of it was longer and it was natural and it was a lot more intense. It was intense. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. That one was definitely her last one being there for four out of five of her births. That one was the hardest to watch. Like yeah, you, you did you amazing. Got, you got but a little it was, dizzy and had to sit down because yeah. you like had a hard time seeing her. And yeah. Her. Yeah. So for all of you mamas out there who've had a baby, like mm -hmm. high five, you guys are all amazing. All yeah. of you. But those of you who've had a natural childbirth, you know, it's it's kind of intense, but- I'm never, never gonna do that. Was, yes, you are. I'm never doing that. You don't that. have to, but I totally know you could. They why could. why walk okay. when you can fly? No, <laughs> I'm not doing that. Okay, my next one is I have an autoimmune disease. It's a blood, blood. <laughs> blood. <laughs> Scorpion, ow. Glass. <laughs> it's a blood clotting disorder. Yeah, elaborate on that more. Yeah, yeah, later. We're, yeah, we're gonna talk a lot more about medical issues and things in future videos, yeah. but yeah. Okay, one of mine is I like football, especially the Broncos. Ooh, ooh. Um, my husband jokes, he tells me all the time, yeah, the reason we went on a second date is because you liked football, and I'm like, glad that's the only reason. <laughs> <laughs> Sports freak, like he knows sports every stat, freak. every player, and every it's team. not just like football and basketball. It's like soccer and tennis and table ping tennis. pong. And I'm like, <laughs> what? Like nobody cares. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean it like that, but I like I like football. Okay, my next thing. I'm an ice water addict. You guys, hardcore, straight up. If you she ever is. see me, I have ice water on me. Mm -hmm. And my husband can attest to this. If I go an hour without drinking ice water, I seriously am like. She's dead. I'm gonna die. No, I really don't think I'm gonna die, but I'm just like, I need water right now. So I love my ice water. Okay, my next one is my favorite place I've ever visited was France. And a goal of mine and my family's is we all want to speak French. So Steve and I are doing Rosetta Stone. <laughs> it's not going great. Um, <laughs> Going great. Steve is smart and he catches on quick to things and I'm like holding him back because I'm like Wait, whatever and we of course want our son to learn French one day as well that's awesome yeah. that is their last awesome. name is French that's why yes. yes so yeah our last name is French and yeah we're all gonna speak French one day hey so one of mine and Ryan's couple goals in our marriage is to travel to all 50 states and we can't just drive through, like we have to spend a night in all 50 states. And so far in our first two years of being married, we've been able to travel to 10 states, Thank which is are. super awesome. We <coughs> have a huge map. We cut out and put a picture on it. So it's super in fun. In the shape of the state, it's cute. Yeah, it, yeah it's super fun. We to should just insert a picture because it. it's really cute. Mm -hmm. It's a good idea. Yeah. I love it. Super fun. Okay, my dream destination, like my top bucket list place that I want to visit so bad is New Zealand. Mm -hmm. Like, so cool. have to do it. I'm, I'm just obsessed with that place. The culture, everything about it, 
gotta make it to New Zealand. Okay, my next one is I'm an organized freak. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot stand when things are unorganized and I think I love organizing because it's like instant gratification like you see a mess and you can like instantly see a result so oh, yeah. I love organizing my favorite thing that I own is probably a label maker and it um, like calms your mind it does no like when I was like deciding what I want to do with my life I want to be like a professional organizer because when I go to people's houses like I don't mean to offend anyone, but I like look at things and I'm like, I could organize that for you. <laughs> <laughs> and she does most of the time. Like she'll just start organizing stuff. Yeah, I love organizing. I know. I, t I said to her, don't you have a junk drawer? Every family has a junk drawer. And she goes, no, no, mine's organized. I'm like, well, you open the drawer and it's, yeah, everything has a place. <laughs> no, that's not See, what a junk crazy, drawer is. The crazy thing is, is I feel like I'm that way in that I want things organized, but I don't have like the drive to like get it super organized so like the clutter drives me crazy and gives me anxiety but i'm not i'm definitely not on her level I'm not on her level but she, I think, she's like a different level i think once you like get everything organized it's so much easier to maintain and yeah everything's true. just so much cleaner when everything's organized. very true yeah, well, i could see that okay my number 10 fact about me is <laughs> zach efron is definitely second to my husband i've been obsessed with him since High School Musical, which was 12 <laughs> years ago. How old were you when High School Musical came out? I don't know, but Disney it Channel was... had a countdown, and I watched that sucker <laughs> for days and when days. When she was little, she had like a cardboard cutout of Zac Efron in his Wildcats so basketball uniform. And it would like sit in her room, and so Sarah. if it was dark in her room and you'd walk by her bedroom, <laughs> it looked like there was a man. <laughs> I, I, it. It. I think our little brothers ended up like shooting it with paintball guns or something. Cause <laughs> they're they, probably they jealous. Do. I'd be jealous. <laughs> <laughs> no, my husband jokes and says he's my hall pass. And I'm like, you said it, not me. <laughs> so, that. Zach. Come on. <laughs> okay, my last fact is super dumb. I don't even know if I should say this one. What? But, I'm kind of like an obsessive vacuumer. She is. Yeah, she vacuums all it's like a lot a of time. Like legitimately, <laughs> but I feel like I have to. You guys, I have five kids from seven to newborn, so I have five young kids, right. and I feel like within an hour, I'm like, it looks like I haven't vacuumed in a Well, week. and she has really dark hardwood floor, so you can see. See every little crumb thing. Everything. Well, and I'm just like, love the vacuum lines. So even though I know it's freshly vacuumed, if the kids like go run in there, I'm like, there's no more vacuum lines. I need more vacuum lines. <laughs> it's a problem, I know, but I love it. She vacuum. got a vacuum for Christmas. Yeah, she loves Guys, it. I have the cordless Dyson V6. Ooh, game gift. changer, best gift I've ever been given yeah. my whole life. I love it. Okay, my last one is kind of about our family. There's five kids in our family and we each like play a very important role. But I think mine would be like, I don't know what to call it, like the doer. The mom. Kind of. Maybe the mom. I don't know, because you're very motherly too. Yeah, that's true. So I'm I don't know, but you're like the doer, organized book trips, book hotels. Like you're like I the feel like when anyone needs anything or like has anything going on, like they all come to me. Like <laughs> Maddie called me one day and said, How do I do a W2? And I was like, How do you do a W2? How do you fill out a W2? Business stuff. That's sure. real life. Yeah. I don't know. And like if someone needs to book a trip, they come to me. Resumes. So I just feel like I am yes. like the doer, I guess, of the siblings. Uh huh. So yeah, and I'm just the comic relief. <laughs> <laughs> and Jed is like the beauty of the family. Jed is a whole different level. <laughs> we, that's a whole different vlog. We'll get there one day, not today. We all kind of love our brothers, but that is just some fun random facts yeah. about us, you guys. We hope you guys enjoyed. We hope that you know us a little bit better now and hopefully think good things about us. Yeah. No, but we would <laughs> like you to share some facts about you because we know there's awesome people watching this video with awesome things about them. So share some com some facts about yourself in the comments and we will see you next time. Bye. See ya. Subscribe. Subscribe to our channel. Sister, oh. sister. <laughs> I know, that was like disturbing to watch. Oh, I got to do this all the time. <laughs> <laughs> our director said it's fine. I need him to leave. Go. Stop. Our video, so we don't have to listen to him. <laughs> what? <laughs> Your name. Oh, oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> we all are like, I'm, I'm not awkward. Just say we're all sisters, okay? And three of them. Close up. We are sisters. All three of us. <laughs> Wait, sisters. <laughs>
Hi, I'm not close to that. Welcome back. <laughs> oh, wait, I was so confused. What? <laughs> what? French, but it is from France. Like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Mine are so dumb. 